This may look like a wellness retreat for stressed out city folk, but it's not. This hillside compound near Manila uses volcanic heat to produce electricity for thousands of homes. The Maribara 2 plant is the first geothermal facility to be built in the Philippines in four years. A surge of exploration efforts have been encouraged by government perks and rising demand. There's a lot of interest in the solar energy business. Even if there's no more feed-in tariffs, the applications of service contracts still continue because the energy business is now good. Coal-burning facilities produce half of the nation's electricity, but they pump out pollution while geothermal power is clean. There's no smoke. The neighbors can hear it, but they aren't complaining. Everybody is okay. Electricity costs in the Philippines are among the highest in Asia. Moving away from coal and oil imports will help bring those down. Geothermal plants produce 12% of the nation's electricity. The government wants to double that by 2040. It's also offering tax perks to attract investments in geothermal plants, solar farms, windmills, and hydroelectric dams. Steam from underground is free, but searching for it is expensive and risky. The Energy Ministry has given companies five years to confirm whether a site is viable. If there's not enough there, they'll need to pack up. Yes, that's how risky geothermal is. The Philippines has committed to cut carbon emissions by 70% by 2030. The answer could lie under its surface. Paulo Montesilio, TRT World.